seizures. I think I'm gonna have seizures that I've already played the game in. Dumb? You're gonna, you're, you're gonna give me the elliptic seizures one after I've already played the game? That, that doesn't make sense, but okay. Thank you for the... Thank you for the warning after I played an hour of the game. Just saying welcome to South Street Bell. Hello, what do you mean welcome? Maybe this one's Welcome home. Eivor, did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver and jewels. <laughs> Shut up, bro! How do you know? You never went on a raid! Just shut up! Uh, <laughs> Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work.
There's a hut on top of the mountain. works. It's not like a secret way to get in. Climbing always solves there.
I ruined the YouTube video. It's eating. Balka. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust. Or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly okay, you and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Have you used this sort of magic before? I have no fear. It was not my satyr that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Drink. If you seek true understanding. <laughs> what? And we're dead. No. Huh? I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. He's not here. Harvey. What? Harvey. What? Harvey. Uh I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? Is this?
Brother! What is this? There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! I have no idea what's going on in this game. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. No, we're not dead. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, f following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you nice. will earn your place in Valhalla. Nice. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. So, am I getting my weapons sharpened? Oh. I guess I'm not. Oh, let's go. This music is fire. Let's go, let's go. Four skill points. Whatever, 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 I don't care. Boom. 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 Boom, see? Look, oh, only melee. Hmm. 
Suggested power one? What do you mean, bro? I'm like power five. What's my power? What's my power? What's my power? Seven. <laughs> See, I'm too cracked at this game. This is the place. This is the person that's gonna sharpen my weapons. Eivor, come to keep your blade sharp? Oh. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future... Bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Everything's gonna be the same, except it's gonna... Wow, um... I, I don't really know what it did, but... Nice. That should oh. do it. Anything else? That's all for now. No. Return any time. Much frickin' armor. I have so much frickin' like damage and stuff. I'm popping off. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Wow, <laughs> okay. I can wait out the storm a little longer. They must be finished now. 
The king has called for his best need, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Oh, yeah, let's go more Sigurd war, has more fighting, let's Down go! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Oh. I've been scum. All these are like just in power one. Me at power seven be like. All, all of them are like, you should have one power, but I'm over here at power seven. I'm gonna fight some people left. I thought I was at power one, but now I'm at power seven. Now I'm now I'm hey, god. I'm godly. <laughs> See good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood so drinker. What have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured by Kinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tale short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. 
You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotre from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kyotre the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. Two years? When we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotre and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. But I legit look like Thor. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. <laughs> you are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hagia Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me, as if a forgotten memory of an old... He has that effect on people. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg. And you want me? Waves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving the gifts. Oh, you would put Thor to shame. I am Thor. You have been away too long, brother. You do not know the spiced kick of Tekla's meat. Mm. It does have a new taste. I like it. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. 
These excellent men were my what shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with Ooh. them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Yes. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. What? Well, if I'm blocked, right? Like Wonder Woman. <laughs> not the most threatening weapon, is it? A bracer with a tiny blade. It may not look like much. But those who underestimate its effectiveness are often the first to die by its sting. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What ma- Please, the blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Ah! Oh! Why is it running over there? like just one of my weapons or do I have to oh, oh. <sighs> oh, I don't have to look at This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. Challenge. Leap down upon that target from above. That's it. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. 
Exactly, just like that. Mentor, does he intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Why offer him the place? If only we have more height. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. I'll assassinate you. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss this. After this mission, I'm gonna probably end stream. That's it. I'm gonna watch YouTube because that's what I normally do. I'm out of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. Nice. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! That's it.